Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, mercury poisoning. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, mercury is a naturally occurring element found in air, water, and soil. You know, and uh, a highly toxic uh, form builds up in fish shellfish and animals that eat fish you know and now fish and shellfish are the main source of uh, methyl mercury exposures to the humans and uh, the fish that typically have higher levels of mercury include like uh, king mackerel or marlin orange rugby and uh, uh, like shark or uh, swordfish uh, tilefish and uh, ahi and biggie tuna you know so these are the types of the fishes uh, who contain uh, the high levels of mercury you know and uh, uh, many of these types of the fish are used in sushi uh, which is a Japanese kind of uh, food you know and other sources of the mercury can be uh, like silver colored uh, dental fillings that contain up to 50% mercury by weight and can release mercury vapor you know and uh, fluorescent light bulbs that uh, use electricity to uh, excite uh, the mercury vapor you know and mercury fever thermometers made of glass you know so the mercury exists in several forms elemental or uh, metallic mercury, inorganic mercury compounds and organic mercury compounds, you know. Now, the mercury expo uh, exposure at high levels can harm the brain, the heart, the kidneys, uh, lungs and the immune system. And high levels of uh, methyl mercury in the bloodstream of unborn babies and young children may harm the development of nervous system uh, making the child uh, less able to think and learn so having the learning disabilities you know and the signs and the symptoms of the mercury poisoning uh, include like uh, impairment of the peripheral vision uh, disturbances in the sensations like pins and needles feelings you know and lack of coordination and impairment of speech, hearing, and walking, and the muscle weakness. And the uh, elemental, uh, which is also known as metallic uh, mercury, primarily causes the health effects uh, when it is uh, breathed as a vapor where it uh, uh, can be absorbed through the lungs, you know. And the signs and symptoms of the acute elemental mercury poisoning include like uh, tremors or uh, emotional changes, or weakness, or muscle uh, atrophy, you know, and uh, twitching, headaches, and uh, disturbances in the sensations, you know, and uh, changes in the nervous response. So these are the common signs and the symptoms of the uh, uh, elemental mercury exposure, you know, poisoning. And the higher exposures uh, may result in the kidney effects or the respiratory failure and death, you know. Uh, consult your doctor immediately if you believe that you have been exposed to mercury or anyone in your family or surrounding have been exposed to mercury, you know. And the testing for mercury may involve tests uh, on the hair uh, and urine, you know. And uh, the treatment for the mercury toxic, uh, toxicity includes like removal of the source of the mercury exposure and uh, supportive care and uh, chelation therapy to help remove the metals from the body, you know. And the recycling of the mercury containing products is uh, one of the best ways to help prevent mercury uh, releases to the environment by keeping these products out of uh, uh, landfills and uh, other uh, uh, reduce the risk of exposures you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com 
and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day thank you goodbye